Okay, so in this video, we are going to discuss about comparing the fractions. And before we compare the fractions, we understand what is the basic concept behind comparing a pair of fractions. Then we, for the sake of ease and convenience in comparing fractions, we divide fractions into two types known as like and unlike fractions. And then we compare the fractions using these types. So we learn about how do we compare like fractions, then how do we compare unlike fractions in which there will be two possible scenarios that the fractions have the same numerators and the fractions having different numerators. And then we learn how do we compare the mixed fractions. So let us try to understand what do we mean by comparing of fractions. So in order to do that, let us have a look at the fractions that are represented by the shaded portion given here. So let me just write down the figure numbers here. So this is figure 1, 2, 3 and 4. And the fractions that are represented by these figures will be written here. So what fraction is represented by the first figure? So that is clearly 1 by 2. So we are just considering this one part out of two parts. The second fraction is 1 by 3. We are considering one part out of three parts. In the third figure, we have 1 by 4. So we are considering one part out of four parts. And in the fourth one, we have 3 and 2, 5. So we are considering 1 out of 5. So essentially what we are doing is we have the same hole, that is we have the same box, rectangular box and we are dividing this into more parts as we are progressing from figure number 1 to figure number 4. So here we have 2 parts, then 3, then 4 and then 5. Now when I am considering one part out of two parts, so if you just have a visual look at it, it is straightforward for you that when we consider one part of larger number of parts, it is going to be smaller when compared to bigger number of parts. I mean this is clearly visually shown here. So in a way you can restate this or understand it this that the bigger the denominator in a fraction implies that the more the number smaller the number of parts the whole has been divided into and when you consider one part out of so many parts this one part will definitely be smaller than this or for that matter in figure 2 or in figure 1. So in this way we can figure out that we can compare fractions as to which one is greater. But then what happens when let us say we have a fractions for example 3 by 10 and we have uh, 5 by let us say 16. This makes it a bit difficult for us to uh, compare it and if we try to do it visually it may not be that convenient for us to do and for that purpose we need to develop a systematic way to compare fractions but before we compare the fractions we divide them into two types and that is just for the convenience for us to be able to compare the fractions so the first type that we divide the fractions are known as like fractions and they are defined as the fractions that have the same denominators. So any fraction that any pair of fractions that will have same denominators will be termed as like fractions. So the examples that we can take would be any 1 by 5, you can have 8 by 5, you can have 2 by 5, 3 by 5. So these are all these, this 4, they are like fractions. Another example if you like to take is let us say we have 2 by 17, 3 by 17, 5 by 17, 8 by 17 and you could have many more. So these are like fractions because they simply have the same denomin denominators. Now unlike, unlike fractions are simply the fractions that do not have same denominators. So all the fractions for example we can take 1 by 2, 2 by 3, 3 by 4. These are all unlike because the denominators 2, 3 and 4 are different. Now please know that this is just a convenience 
a definition for which will help us to compare the fractions so now let us start our compare comparison for like fractions that is when we have fractions having the same denominator now consider this example below so we have this one rectangle and it has been divided into eight parts here so one two three four five six seven and eight parts and then we are supposed to consider the shaded parts so we will write the fractions represented by this so in this case the fraction will be three parts out of eight parts and in the other case we find out the shaded parts two three four five we have five parts out of eight parts now when I say the denominator is same, that is the like fraction, it simply means that the whole has been divided into same parts. Now, isn't it straightforward to figure out which one is greater? It is straightforward. We know that we are considering more number of parts out of the whole in 5 by 8 when compared to 3 by 8. Here we are just considering 3 parts. So, visually we can say that 5 by 8 is greater than 3 by 8 so it's very simple for us to compare like fractions the one which has a greater numerator is greater and we can use this observation to solve the following examples so for example which one is greater here so we can straightforward say that the numerator 8 is greater than 7 so we can say that 8 by 10 is greater than 7 by 10 now for the second example, now uh, see these are all the like fractions. So we know that 13 is greater than 11. So therefore 13 by 24. So 13 parts will be greater than 11 parts. Because in both the cases we are just considering the 24 parts. And then in this case we know that 17 is greater as compared to 12. So it is essentially we are saying that 17 parts out of 102 will be greater than when considered compared with 12 parts out of 102 parts. So let us quickly summarize how do we compare the like fractions. For like fractions that is the fractions that have the same denominator the fraction with greater numerator is bigger and it is very easy to compare like fractions and we will be using this later on to make our work even easier